with you, we on some hot boy. Like I told Tish, I see when I. Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back to the Roast Session Central. I'm the Nigerian Nemesis, and in today's video, I'm gonna be bringing you guys the most hated deck of all time with the Mortar, with the Expo, the two hated Siege cards in the game. Royal GG, everybody knows about that. The Elite Barbarians were so broken at one point in time, they're really hated. The Executioner Tornado combination is very strong, and that's why that combination right there is hated. The Ewiz is kind of overpowered, or at least everybody says so. I think it's fine, but it is one of the hated cards. And we also have the Three Musketeers, which is very popular right now. So let's play some Grand Challenge matches with the top eight hated cards in the game and see if we can string together some wins. This deck right here is absolutely crazy. Ridiculous elixir cost, but I think we can get some wins here as these cards right here are so good on their own. Let's see if we put them all together, if they can create some havoc. So now we have three Musketeers in the back here going up against this Mega Minion. He's going to poison there on the right hand side, which is just fine by me. Log going down as well. So now we can send in the Elite Barbarians to support this Musketeer. They are going down, coming in super hot. Let's see how he counters here. Ewiz coming down. That Ewiz is not going to do it for him. Those skeletons are going to die as well. We've got two Elite Barbarians onto his tower. And you guys know what that means. If you ever see an Elite Barbarian on your tower, you know that tower is almost going to go all the time. And now that Musketeer, I mean, now that Mega Minion is coming back at us. We'll just leave that alone. Take that damage. And now we can go defensive for the rest of the game since we do have the Expo and the Mortar. Obviously, the Expo is used as an offensive card most of the time in the game. But this card is so good defensively, it's ridiculous. If they have Lightning, it does cut down the value, but on defense, it's ridiculous. Shredding down tanks, you can play things in front of it to distract. And now let's go in and take this tower with the Royal Giant. This deck makes kids rage. Look at this, we're gonna take this tower. He's not even gonna react. Let's see what he decides to play to stop it. I don't even think he's here anymore. So we're gonna go aggressive with the Mortar and try and take this first tower. He was going down and looks like this guy is gone. He has definitely left the game. He is out of here. I don't blame him. Everybody that we play might end up rage quitting in this video. So hopefully we don't make everybody quit in this game. But other than that, I think we're going to take the three crown here with this absolutely insane deck. Kids, do not try this at home. Well, actually, go ahead and try it. You might be able to make people quit. Get some free trophies, free three crowns. Get your crown chest up. I'm going to use this deck during the clan chest so that I can get my crowns as fast as possible. But either way, that's going to be the first victory of the day, putting us at 1-0. Let's hop into another match. Hopefully this time they don't rage quit up against Walter RC from Mackie Corp. We want to be able to play this game all the way to the end. So we've got the three Musketeers in our starting hand once again, which is very good for us. E-Barb's on defense, e -Wiz on defense. He's going to go in hot with the golem so let's rush e-barbs down the opposite lane right here can we surprise him no way he has a skarmy in this deck two elite barbarians onto his left tower he's got that baby dragon not gonna be enough they're gonna get some more swings on one more swing from that e-barb and that tower is gone just like that we have already taken the first tower of the game and we have three musketeers here on defense we're gonna play them all on the right side so if he does have a lightning this could be the end for us and we will lose this first tower but let's use a tornado here bring all this back we don't want to take any extra damage look at the three musketeers go to work they just absolutely shredded a golem night witch push with the help of the tornado so now we have three healthy musketeers all which are going to get lightning down i'll hit him with the well play that's a plus three elixir trade for him and now he's kind of back in this game but we already took the first tower we've got our e we've got the e-barbs for his golem so i think we're going to be doing just fine Let's go ahead and start this one up with the slow executioner in the back. See what he decides to play if he has his golem already back in rotation. Will he play that? If he does, we can go super aggressive here with the RG. Either way, we've got the executioner to support. So let's go RG down here. Executioner should clean up that Mega Minion if nothing else is played. We've got our E-Wiz ready. E-Wiz going down here on offense. He's got that Goblin Gang. Hopefully the, yeah, there we go. Turn around to the left. That's going to help take out some of the, go the Goblin Gang. He's got that baby dragon, not to worry. That's going to fall down here to our Ewis and Executioner combination. And they're going to take out that last goblin. So now we can get a couple hits onto the tower with the Ewis. Ewis is on the tower. Let's go in hot with the Elite Barbarians now. Not even give him a time to think. He's going to drop his Night Witch, forced to play the Night Witch there. That e -barb will get a couple of swings off onto the tower as well. And that's going to be the second tower of the game up against a ridiculously strong Golem Night Witch deck. So we are doing a very good job here so far. We've got two towers to zero. We have the uh, Expo, but let's rush in with the three Musketeers here. All up to the tower, force him to play something. I forgot he has that Lightning, so we're not going to do that again. Now we can set up four defense with the Expo, so I can show you guys the defensive capabilities of this deck 
with the Executioner's Tornado Ewis and the Expo Mortar combination. Let's go Executioner here and get ready for our uh, Tornado. The thing that wasn't that bad about the Three Musketeers play, look at the value, first of all, of this execution. That's going to absolutely shred his Mega Minion, take down his Nightwish, clean up the, the Baby Dragon. So we are doing a very good job. But look at how the Expo absolutely shredded that Golem. He's going to force in another Golem at the bridge. But as I was saying earlier, he didn't have the Lightning there since he did waste it on the Three Musketeers. Let's play our Mortar on defense now. The Mortar is going to clean up all the backline troops. Let our Ewiz, our Barbarians, do some work on this Golem. Mortar's going to take out those Spear Goblins in the back. We've got our Executioner. We've got our Exo. Let's go Executioner here. We've got our Tornado as well. Bringing everything to the center. That's going to stop the Night Witch, Golemite, and clean up the Baby Dragon. So once again, perfect stop there. And he didn't even do that much damage to our Towers. He sort of split damage up there, but that was a solid W. I wasn't even worried throughout the entirety of that battle. So obviously, this deck is very powerful. And these cards are not a joke. So let's hop into the third and final battle of the day see if we can go 3-0 with this deck we've already got a rage crit and we've got a two crown to zero win so we are doing pretty well with this deck it's honestly very good you can even play it as a mortar deck by playing the mortar first and using your ewiz executioner and tornado on defense to clear up those troops if you get the mortar locked onto the tower but we haven't had the ability to do that yet he's gonna start with a golem so now we can play this like a mortar deck mortar going down hopefully he has nothing to defend against this mortar is locked onto the tower so we're gonna start getting some shells into that tower I've got my E-Barbs ready for him to play any troops. Looks like he's not going to bring anything. So we're going to go Executioner on the left-hand side just to ensure that I've got my E-Barbs ready for anything he drops on the right. Unfortunately, he does have that Minion Horde and we will have to answer to that sooner or later. Let's go Executioner, uh, or I mean Tornado here on the right side. E-Barbs on the left side. Take down that Bandit. Bandit is gone. Now we've got all this defending against his Golem. So very good defense on our part. He will get a lot of damage, but it could have been a lot worse if that Bandit stayed alive. So well done there from the Elite Barbarian. He's got our right tower down to 1526 as well from those minions. So right now we are finally down with this deck. But not to worry, we've got a very heavy deck. So if we get the cycle right in overtime, we definitely have this one in the back. He's got all that coming at us. So now we can play three Musketeers here. And they should be able to do a decent job cleaning up the Night Witch, taking out her bats. And now we have a counter push going down in this game. Let's go with a Mortar on the left hand side. It kind of is splitting up damage, but we have two Musketeers there. Make him play something into the Musketeers. While that right Musketeer goes to town on that tower over there, these Musketeers on the left. Let's go Ewiz right here. Stop these goblins real quick for us so that our Mortar can get some more shots into that tower. The Ewiz is now going to get some damage off almost anyways. And he has his Horde coming back at us. So that's going to be the tower definitely. We're not going to get our Executioner down in time. So we're just going to have to eat this damage here. That tower is gone. Just have to make sure we don't get too much damage on our King Tower so it doesn't push for a 3 crown. This deck here cannot handle all of that. We do have an RG though so I'm not too worried about this. We will get some guaranteed damage onto this tower. He's got the Night Witch in the back, which is good for us. It's not on top of our RG. So now we have our RG on the tower. We've got the Executioner in the back to support. He's going to clean up those bats nice and easy. Let's draw this tornado out really quickly. Actually, we don't need it. Night Witch is going to go down here in a second. Night Witch is down. He's got this Golem here. Let's go Three Musketeers to defend. He doesn't have Lightning. At least I haven't seen Lightning in this deck. So the Three Musketeers are going to defend. That first tower is gone. He does have a Fireball. Finally bringing that out, but we have defended successfully against that golem. So now we can go Elite Barbarians in the center, rush right back in here. This was just so hard to stop. As you guys know, he does have that minion horde, but that's not going to be enough. At least not fast enough. Let's play an expo on defense and get ready here. We've got to defend this push one more time. We've got our Ewis to drop on top of the Night Witch and on top of the Bats. That's going to draw everything towards the center, and they should all die here. He's got an Ewis onto us, but that's not going to be an issue. We've got the Royal Giant, and as you guys know, there's nothing you can do about it. Royal Giant's going to get three shots onto your tower. At the very least, one shot's down, two shots down. Royal Giant with the shot right there. That's going to end the game for us. Two to crowns to one. He's got that Horde and Bandit coming in. Bandit actually got a dash onto our tower. Risky plays there, but we were able to secure the victory, putting us at 3-0. and oh, He probably can't believe it. All these guys that we beat in this game probably cannot believe they lost to this deck after they went to go and check it out in the replays. But let's see what decks we beat. I'm pretty sure we beat some pretty solid decks in this game. Let's see here. We beat... The Giant deck with the Ewiz and the Graveyard. We've beaten the Golem deck with the Night Witch and the Baby Dragon. Very strong right now. And we took out another Golem deck with the Horde and the Night Witch and Bandit. So very good stuff there from this deck. Here's the deck for you guys once again. 5.4 Elixir. Absolutely crazy. I know it looks like it doesn't work. But as you guys saw that we went 3-0 with this deck. Very strong deck. So make sure you play this deck as an Expo or Mortar style deck. You have the RG on offense. The Elite Barbarians are so good on offense and on defense. You also have 
the three musketeers there which you guys already know very powerful card the execution of tornado e wiz combination can stop practically any push in the game so these are the combinations you want to do use if you are using this deck so if you guys did enjoy the video go ahead and smash that like button and if you're new to the channel hit that subscribe button for some more future daily clash royale content and i hope you guys go on and enjoy the rest of your day peace